G'day and welcome to episode number five of 2024. Welcome to the Geocaching Down Under podcast. I'm your host, Purple Cashita, and tonight I'm going to be joined by Snappy Tomcats and Candice, and we're going to be talking all about the June long weekend event held in South Australia every year. So don't forget you can chat to one another in the chat room. Please keep it PG. There are children watching and participating uh, so that would be wonderful to be considerate of everyone. Thank you. Uh, don't forget to say hi to your geo mates and check in with everybody. We've also got another winner for the GDU calendar photo of the month for March. Uh, so make sure you wait till the end of the show to see the winning picture. Hopefully it was your picture and hopefully you're watching live tonight. That would be pretty cool. Now we've also got some special thanks to give out to Laney at LK Consulting Group for the marketing, mentoring and the coaching program and some of the brilliant ideas. So thank you very much, Laney. Thank you to John and Di at gsstuff.com.au for their continuous support of the podcast with prizes each month and just general help here and there. They're super awesome. Thank you for the super awesome shirts too. Uh, big thanks to See My Shell. He does some of the audio, uh, well, he does do the audio editing and some of the video editing for the show as well. So thank you very much, SMS, all the way from America. Appreciate it. And a big thanks to my mum, also supporting the podcast as well. So thank you very much, mum. Now, don't forget, we do have some prizes available for you this evening. Um, So if you would like to be in the draw for the prizes, all you need to do is be watching live because you can't win it after the show, but uh, go to tinyurl.com forward slash GDU wheel. And then uh, once you're on that page, put in your your regular name, your caching name, and also the keyword. Now it is case sensitive, so you will need a capital L for Lamaru. So head over to tinyurl.com forward slash GDU wheel. You can do that right now um, and we will draw the prizes a little later. So let's have a quick look in the chat room and we will see who is watching live tonight. I can see a few of you here. So thank you very much. Oz Fox is here. We've also got June Long Weekend joining as well. Kitty Catch is joining live. Richery, good evening, mate. Nice to see you. Oh, we've got uh, Shawfoot24. Oh, I wonder, if, are you home safely yet, love? Hopefully you are. That's awesome. Oh, Kiara, thank you for joining. It was so nice to meet you at the Geo Bash. That was so cool. DTY, you're alive. Oh, dear. I know a few of us <laughs> came down with COVID after the Geo Bash. So thank you very much. Uh, VK4GO. Oh, Darren, every time you join Darren, you change your name and confuse me. I love it. Darren Archer is here. So Donut Holes is also here. We've also got Shamed Toy Hunters, my newest Patreon. Thanks for joining us, mate. Lisa Kay and Mel. Oh, the happy couple. The happy wedding couple from the Gia Bashi joining live. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us live. It was so cool to be able to attend your wedding. Burns345 is also here as well. That's awesome. And Greg and Jen Reed. Oh, nice for joining us. Thanks, Pud. Uh, they're on their merry little journey on the long way home, that's for sure. Meriton is also here. We got Isa Peter joining live. We got James0116, another Patreon. Thank you very much. Oh, dear. We got Jess, DFC, JLK 2019. We got Mama Bears also joining by Tiny96, Princess1005, and Captain Monkey 96 Oh, the whole gang. The whole gang is here. I love it. That's awesome. G'day, Soul Oracle. Thanks for joining live all the way from Adelaide. That's cool. Matthew Fuller, thanks for joining us live, mate. And Turtle284, also joining us live. That's cool. And we've got Spider Monkey's mum joining as well. G'day, Kim. Thanks for joining us live. Oh, Datsun1600 is also here as well on another Patreon. Thanks for joining us live. That is super cool. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for joining us live. Let's get into some of the news. So let's get started and we'll find out some of the uh, the, the news. Hey, PCE, how's this for a location? Beautiful. You know what? This is my new backyard as well. Anyway, what have you got for us for news? Hmm. 
Alrighty, so for the news, uh, next events we have coming up, we have the, you won't believe it, it's uh, next in the list, is the Lamaru Ludicrous Leg Warmers. Now that one's going to be held on the 7th to the 10th of June. That one is going to be in Lamaru in South Australia. So that's just on the border between South Australia and Victoria. So make sure you log your will attend for that one there. There it is, the June long weekend. Um, we'll be finding out more about this event very shortly, so hold on to your hats. Following on from that, the next big thing happening in Australia is the Western Australia Goes Big. Now, that one is GCA GV8Y, and that one's going to be the 11th Western Australia Goes Big event, and that's going to be held in Augusta over the weekend of the 20th to the 23rd of September, so a little bit later this year. Give you a bit of time to get organised and potentially get over there. Put, I hope you're home by then, honestly. If you're not home by September, I'm getting worried. <laughs> uh, then the weekend for the Western Australia Go Big is going to be packed. So make sure you head to the website. Go to west-oz-geocaching.com. Find out all the details there. There's going to be kayaking and canoeing. There's a CEDO. There's even a four-wheel drive trip planned. They've got all sorts planned for that one. So if you can, make your way over to Western Australia in September. That one will be a good event. Now, next one is over in Western, Western, out of state of Australia, over in New Zealand, I should say, is Geo Taroa. Now, this one is GCA 7ZHD, Geo Taroa. That's going to be held in Dunedin in New Zealand for the 26th to the 27th of October. Uh, so that's going to be at the Sharks Rugby Football Club in Dunedin. And that one is running from the Friday to the Monday. So if you can head over to there, I think that's going to be a pretty big event as well. And then following on from that, we're actually going to skip on over into the new year, 2025. We've actually got the Sydney GeoQuest. So that one is GCACHF8. Uh, that one is the Sydney GeoQuest and it is the Ozmega and the Geocaching New South Wales committees um, have joined together and they are doing the Sydney GeoQuest, I should say, which is going to be held on Sunday, the 26th of January, which is Australia Day 2025, and that's going to be in the Sydney Olympic Park um, and is going to be within the Newington Armoury within the Sydney Olympic Park um, area. Uh, there's going to be halls to hold activities and exhibits, um, and there's going to be all sorts of things happening. So there's more details to come later, uh, but uh, we will be finding out more about that one. But if you can get to Sydney on Australia Day 2025, head over to GCAC HF8 and log your will attend. Now we've got some souvenirs as well, some souvenirs coming up. Now I don't have all of them and I don't have any pictures of the future ones because I couldn't find them. But at the moment, we have got the Cash In Trash Out Season 1 is running. So it is available between the 1st of March and the 31st of May, so quite a big time. All you need to do is attend or host a CETO uh, to get your um, souvenir there. Following on from that one, we have the Blue Switch Day. So the Blue Switch Day is on the 2nd to the 4th of May. All you need to do is find a geocache, attend an event or complete an adventure lab location and that one celebrates when a uh, GPS signal went live to the public so you can get your, your souvenir for that one. And then following on from that one, we've got the June Solstice. Same again, find a geocache, attend an event or complete an adventure lab. That one is between the 19th and the 21st of June to get a souvenir for that after that one, we have International Geocaching Day. So that one is in August. So that one is August the 17th uh, to get your International Geocaching Day souvenir. Following on from that one, we've got the Season 2 of Cash In Trash Out. Same thing, 1st of September through to the 30th of November. So you've got, you know, three months to host an event or an attend an event, find one near you. If there isn't one near you, maybe you can make one. Uh, get your souvenir for the Cash In Trash Out. Now, we've also got, and this is a bit of a rumour at this point in time, nothing has been confirmed, cannot be confirmed or denied, is World Postcard Day, which is going to be on the 1st of October. So um, all you need to do to earn the souvenir uh, is to complete an adventure lab. Um, at the moment, uh, that is all the information I have. Uh, I will be checking up on there as well. 
And we've also got the uh, GeoGuessr, that's right. Um, we've got the GeoGuessr.com souvenir um, that ends at the end of April. So following on from that, we've got International Earth Cash Day. That's between the 12th, 13th of October. And uh, same thing, find a cash, attend an event, get outside basically. And then December Solstice is the 20th to the 22nd of December. And then to wrap up the year, we're going to go into the Farewell 2024. So they're going to do that again where we get the souvenir over that um, that week, that 24th to the 31st of December to say goodbye to 2024. And then there will be a Welcome to 2025 souvenir, and that's a week as well. So that's uh, from the 1st of January probably until about the 6th or the 7th. They do give you a decent time frame to get that one as well. Now, we've also got... In 2025, we've got the Block Party. So Block Party will be available from the 1st of January through to the 31st of December. Uh, And geocaching headquarters want to celebrate 25 years of geocaching with block parties around the world. Uh, So their um, HQ are thrilled to announce that organisers of events that qualify for mega or giga event status for 2025 may choose the block party icon for their event. And as far as I am aware, the Sydney GeoQuest is going to be a block party event. So uh, shared what, two days ago, three days ago, the news that uh, we have reached the numbers and they have chosen to be a block party. So that will be the first block party in the Southern Hemisphere for 2025. I know some other countries have snuck in there uh, before January 26. (laughs) That's right. So it's going to be a block party um, as well. So if you can get to Sydney for the block party event as well. Now, also available for you in 2025 is the community celebration events. So the community celebration events are returning in 2025 as part of the 25th geocaching anniversary celebrations. Uh, this event type with its, has its own icon is a special community party gathering held during significant milestone years in geocaching. So the last community celebration events were hosted in 2020 and 2022 to commemorate the 20th anniversary of geocaching. Uh, So this one will be to celebrate the 25th anniversary of geocaching. So if you can uh, make sure uh, you host an event or attend an event and get a special souvenir there and, um, yeah, and hopefully you can, you know, get those souvenirs there. So um, what else have we got? I think that is it. What is it? Um, I'm getting notes from from the chat room. This is fantastic. There is a May Day long weekend event, GCA P2PE. It is in the queue. Okay, so keep your eye out for a May Day long weekend in Queensland. That is fantastic. Okay, so um, hopefully that's it. If there is anything else, pop it in the chat room and we will see. And, um, yeah, let us know and I'll add it to the list and make sure that you are all informed of the um, comings and goings. What is this? What is this? (laughs) You're on mute, by the way. (laughs) Patrick. Patrick Did someone say victory? (laughs) (laughs) Look at this. Congratulations, Sweden. Congratulations, Sweden. Look at this. Look at this hot little hand. Woo! Oh my. Yeah. The crowd so is I wild. got some prices. I even had a flag and I brought a nice trophy. Nice. So I grabbed this at the so, Capital Geo Bash. Woo! And now we only need a sponsor to have me fly down to Australia <laughs> and come and pick uh, my uh, travel Pick up bundle. your prize. Okay, yeah, all right. Well, you can come exactly. and collect it. We just need a sponsor to sponsor you to yep. come here and, and pick up the travel bug and, and take it back. <laughs> take it back to Sweden. Oh, thank you. Everyone says congratulations <laughs> to me. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. So if anyone's in the chat room and are not aware of what is happening right now, is probably wondering what's going on. Uh, Patrick and I, we both released in the beginning of, I want to say, 2020. Like it's been a while. <laughs> Was it 20, 2021, yeah, I think 20, it was? Yeah. Yeah, and we released the travel bugs um, into the wild and the goal was to get to uh, each other in each respective country. And uh, my first one went missing 
And yours has just been constant. Yours has just been on the move, been in the hands of people going around the world. It's been fantastic. Anyway, it finally made it to me here after, what's that, two years? Two years and, and a couple yeah, of months? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, pretty much exactly. Yay! So you win, so you're going to get some merch, uh, but we just need a sponsor to fly you down here and pick it up because, you know, yeah. postage is yeah. too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We'll fly you down instead. We'll fly you down yeah. instead. Oh, Some, that's awesome. Someone in the chat room uh, must be uh, rich enough to fly me. Well, you know, there is a lotto on tonight here in Australia, so if someone wins oh. that, just saying. <laughs> the yeah. first I need thing a they could plane, do, of course. Of course, yes. Oh, and I know you could bring Bonnie with you as well. Bonnie and Trish yes, can come. Yes, I can. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we can come, both of us. Speaking of, uh, I've got a also, wonderful, wonderful yeah. postcard from you as well. Yes, you mind Bonnie if, just mind? sent a postcard to all of you yesterday. Oh, fantastic. All right, well, let me play it for you all now. Just one second. Hi, I am Bonnie. I am four months old. I weigh 16 kilograms and I love to travel. This month, mum and dad took me and my brother Duke and my sister Ayla on a long trip. We drove in mummy's car, then we stopped and had a snack. Then we stopped for another snack. Then we stopped to sleep in a hotel. Everyone in the lobby decided they should cuddle with us. The first day in the Netherlands, Duke and Ayla had their new forever families come pick them up and mum gave me a bath. That made me tired so I had to take a nap. I got a gift from the hotel. I named him Brain Cell and he is the best blue toy ever. I got many friends on my trip. First, we took a walk with a friend of mummy's uncle. Her name was Summer, and she was a big dog, but also very sweet. We played and I cuddled her of course. Of course my brain cell got to sleep with me all the time. Next day we went to mummy's friend and I was very happy because I got two new friends that day. I tickled Lotta on her toes and got to borrow a bit of Thelina's bed to nap in. I got to see a lot of ducks when we were traveling home again. They were a bit scary, but mum said they are nice. Of course Brain Cell was with me on the hotel and we watched the window all night because it was funny. My brother Albus is still home and we play a lot. Lots of love. Bonnie. Oh, that's <laughs> fantastic. I love it. Thanks for sending She's that. She's big now. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, yeah she's grown uh, three times more than you than the last time wow. you saw her. Wow! And how old? Is she? She's so she's now four months, or is she now five months? Yeah, she was four months when uh, when this video was recorded. Right. Okay. So she's fine oh, yeah. now. Yeah, growing fast, no doubt. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh, dear. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations again, Patrick. Um, I know your time is short tonight, but yes. So I have the TB. And yes. Uh, yes, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And um, what 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 are you saying? Get down and get lost. <laughs> get down, get back up again. <laughs> yeah. Get get lost to get found. Yes. Get get lost to get found and have a, have a wonderful April. Excellent. Thanks, Patrick. Good to see you. Bye. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you very much there from Patrick all the way from Sweden. Nice and early in the morning for him. So thank you very much. And that was his dog, Bonnie, growing very fast indeed. So, yeah, I collected that one from the uh, Geobash. Um, if any of you missed my announcement video, I'll play it for you now so you can see me grabbing the, the travel bug. Well, here it is, Patrick. Sweden wins. It's in my hot little hands. Picked it up here at the Capital Geobash. So congratulations, and uh, your prize is in the mail. <laughs> or he may be coming to pick it up, depending on who wins the lotto tonight. <laughs> so that's fantastic. All right, well, let's get on to tonight's show for you, and uh, let's welcome you all to the podcast. <laughs> welcome to the show. Geocaches, muggles, viewers, and listeners. Over to you, PCE. Let's get on with the show. <laughs> Thank you, Canberra crew. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, most of those people there in the video have come down with COVID since the other weekend. Go us. So let's get on with tonight's show, as they say. Tonight I'm joined by Snappy Tomcats and Candice, and they are on the committee for organising the June long weekend event held every year in South Australia. This year's theme is the 80s, and it's called Lamaru's Ludicrous Leg Warmers. Try and say that after a long day of geocaching. Uh, so don't forget, if you've got any questions for Snappy Tomcats or Candies, pop them in the chat room and I will get them answered for you. But let's bring them onto the show now. Snappy Tomcats and Candice, welcome. Hello. Hey. How's everyone? Royal Wave. We're good. How are you? That's it. I'm great because I appear to be the only one that's not sick. Well, lucky you. See, this is what happens when you don't hang out with us degenerates. Yeah, when you don't go to the mega, which you're really sad well, about, um, but yeah. clearly it paid off yes. in one way. Well, yes, and you're, you're organising your own event. Go, otherwise, you'd end up with what we've got. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one, of, one of you've got to be safe. There you go. Yeah. Oh dear. Awesome. So now that I've asked how you both are, and one of you is fine, and one of you isn't, and. Uh, I'm on the men, so there you go. Welcome to the show tonight, guys. So I've got you on to talk about the June long weekend. So basically, how long has this event been running? I know it's been running a while. Do you want to give us a bit of a history of the event and how it started? I've been doing this for enough years now, but every year yeah. I'm going to go, oh, I think it's our 20... <laughs> this will be our 22nd event. 22nd, 22nd event. Yeah. Um, only, wow. only interrupted by COVID. Yes. It's the longest running event in Australia or consecutive event, isn't it? Consecutive uh, event. We, 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 we actually, actually no one's it, disputed it. Mm. Yeah. We actually think it's actually the longest running consecutive event in the world. Oh, okay. Mm. Wow. That's quite. But we quite just can't the, uh, confirm that yet. If anyone can't. wants to research it, go for it. Yeah, go yeah, for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Let us know. Um, but it's our Let 22nd know. event. It's organised by Geocaches in South Australia. It's held over um, what was the Queen's birthday, um, now the yes. King's birthday long weekend. Um, that's a bit difficult to get your head around uh, after having a Queen's birthday for so long. So this yes. year we're having it in the Lamaru region. Um, it's going to be exciting. Uh, every year we put it out to Geocaches to pick a theme and every year they all uh -huh. provide a bit of feedback and nice. um, the 80s has historically come up for about the last 10 years, I want to say, but yeah. we, can, yeah. we can track it for at least six years. As, um, as, long, so, as, as long as we've been doing it. Yeah. <laughs> every year, 80s disco, wow. 80s or disco. Yeah. So um, as a committee, we felt that it was probably time to give the 80s a go. Um, <laughs> and it sort of fits with Lamaru a bit as well, so. Okay, so whereabouts there. whereabouts is Lamaru for those who are not from the area? Okay, so we'll be located at the Lamaru Sports and Community Club, which um, they, as many South Australian country towns, their football clubs and netball clubs don't have the capacity to um, mm. stay as their town teams anymore. So there's a lot of merging that's happening in the region. So mm. um, they are now called the Mallee Suns, I believe. Um, okay the Lamaru community. Um, so we'll be hosting it there. Oh, you are born in Lamaru, Sandy. Oh, that's a bit of an wow. insider secret there. She might know some good places uh. to hide some caches. <laughs> uh, so I was having a little a look on the map um, a little earlier and Lamaru is roughly, say, two and a half hours um, east of Adelaide. Is that about right? Two, two and a half hours? Mm, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. That sounds about it's, right. It's only, it's only about... Or maybe three quarters of an hour from the from the Victorian border, so okay. it's probably the Just closest it's been to to the eastern states for mm. oh, like the last. Six, Mandala was six, the last one years. we had. Mandala, yeah. Mm. Mm. And then I was also so going to ask. I know you guys move the event around each year, um, yep. and that to support the small towns. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, last but it's year also was actually. Sorry, you go, Candice. There you go. You go. No, I was going to say last year we were actually at Kyan Cutter, which is halfway to Western Australia on the air. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> 
and we were expecting maybe 10 people to turn up. Yeah. Uh, we had about 85, I think. Wow. So, yeah, it was, uh, that was a bit of a, ooh, crikey. <laughs> it was an amazing well, event, though. It was, it was an show. awesome event. Yeah. We do it to show. That was a, a, that was a zombie thing. Yeah, that's right. Yes, I remember the zombie theme. That, yeah. that sounded fun. Oh, Sharon, it's going to be your first June long weekend. No, theirs oh, was last year. Oh. That was their first um, June long weekend. Oh, um, okay. So I'm expecting some amazing things from them this year on their second Whoa. June long weekend. Goodness me. You know, that's the costume's awesome. really easy. If you were um, – I was a child growing up in the 80s, so I'm secretly really happy because um, I can relive <laughs> my childhood – through this event and I'm like oh my god I have a costume already I have a lot of um hot pink stuff and um tutus and you know going for that Fantastic. whole Cindy Lord. Well we'll be able to spot you in the crowd easy peasy by the sound of it. I'm hoping you spot a lot of people because there should be a lot of fluoro <laughs> happening because the 80s was yeah. known for fluoro. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, guys, so tell us um what's happening over the weekend for the June long weekend event. Okay, so obviously we have the game over the weekend, but we'll, that's on the mm -hmm. Sunday, so we'll explain a bit before that. So on Friday night, we've got a Welcome to Lamaru pub dinner. Um, mm -hmm. You just log your will attend so we know how many people are coming. And the pub have generously said just choose off of their normal bar menu. Um, oh, so wow. we're looking forward to that. That's a, a and nice And people need to pay to for their own meal? Yeah, they pay for their own meals. Yeah. It's just like any – so you can come and chat. You don't have to buy a meal. Um, but if you okay. want to have dinner, um, it's probably strongly encouraged that you log a will attend. Um, yes. One of the things to keep in mind is it is a small country town, so there's not there's no KFC or Maccas to go and um, mm. get a burger later if you're hungry. No. Um, but <laughs> I don't know if you'd be hungry though if you went if you went and had dinner at the pub. They're, yeah. they're quite generous meals. They usually are generous, aren't they? Yeah, we had a mm. great meal when we went there um, end of last year, so it's not a bad dining room and. Um, yeah, very reminiscent of the 80s, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> when you walk in, it's like, oh, Bit of wow, it's like the from my childhood. <laughs> um, well, so we start the off the, weekend, the mm. weekend with that. And then um, mm -hmm. Saturday is where the weekend actually starts. And we have a bit of a briefing and tell you about the weekend and what it involves. And we give you some containers um, that you are then going to go and hide as part of your weekend. And you'll get a goodie bag and there'll be weekend games nice. in there. So um, every year there's like a scavenger mm. hunt or a locating um, the the letters of the town. Um, that can be quite challenging. Mm. Um, the Lamaroos of Lamaroo. The Lamaroos of Lamaroo. <laughs> it's very difficult. Um, <sighs> and then uh, we have a flash mob on Saturday. But this year our oh. um, – Game Day Masters sort of suggested a bit of a different spin because what we find is uh, okay. geocaches are really good at finding caches, but they're not really good at flash mob movement at all. Yeah. Um, like, <laughs> have you ever seen a bunch of geocaches and you ask them to move? Um, it, they, they don't. They probably um, they look stand. like zombies. <laughs> yes. Last year was perfect. Last year was it great. Fit with the theme. Yeah. Um, so... <laughs> What we've done is this year um, we're actually giving participants, if you actually dance during the flash mob, um, yeah. it's a whole 80s theme, so we've got three songs that are going to be played during that 30-minute window. And mm. um, if you participate, you're going to get a flash mob bonus token as part of your game day. Um, so that will be interesting to see if we get a few more people dancing. Yeah, and that's, that's actually a new, that's a new addition for this year as well. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't part of the game last year. No. So Look at every, you evolving. Every year we sort of try and sort of, mm. you know, mix Bring it something up. something new, so yeah. It, yeah, yeah, so that it's yeah. not. Um, Just the same old, same old. Same yeah, every make, year, yeah. 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 You have That's to mix great. it up a little bit. And then um, the local Lamaru Community and Sports Club are generously hosting a dinner event for us. So we're having a spud and skit night. Um, so we're going mm -hmm. straight back to the 80s and we're having those baked spuds with those traditional <laughs> toppings like a chili con carne, a tuna mornay, yeah. um, yeah. uh, some veggie thing for the people that don't want meat or anything like that, and a tuna – did I say tuna mornay? Because I want a tuna mornay baked spud. Yeah, so. no, there's a tuna mornay. 
<laughs> tuna mornay of chili yeah. a spaghetti bog that's the other one ah um, yeah, and you get a choice of a normal spud or a sweet potato if you are that way oh, inclined for your okay. baked spud um we've got a choice of two soups and a choice of two desserts and obviously you get all the toppings as extra um that's mm. 25 bucks so um all that money goes back to the lamaru sports and community club so that's good for them to have a bit of oh, you know a bit yeah. of profit coming back into their local community so you do have to register for that meal um but you don't have to register to attend the event as such like the um okay. spud and skit night you can also yeah. perform a skit um if you want <laughs> um you know a three minute skit Relating so, to the 80s, I feel like yeah. there could be some flash dance moves or oh, maybe we dear. might see Michael Jackson's Thriller. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but putting it out and there, so if you've people want to participate in the skit, do they need to let you know, like, their name and what they're going to do and how long it runs? Yeah, preferably like on that? Saturday. You know, okay, yeah. so just let, skit, let like, you know like, on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, we're I, might, I might do the flash dance one where, that, where she throws her hair back and all the water comes <laughs> down. <laughs> we'll get you a wig, John. I'll get you a I'm like sure it. someone will throw a bucket of water over you. Yeah, yeah, good on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, but I feel like um, there's going to be lots of opportunities for people to be creative for that skit night. So, yeah, um, get your thinking caps on, come up with some ideas, and you know, yeah, you might make it entertaining, make it fun. Mm. Yeah, and you can win a prize. There you go. Yeah, you know, there'll be some lots geocaching quizzes. Yeah, there is lots of prizes. Um, and then on Sunday is the game day. So, okay. Uh, the What's June long weekend in actually involves a game. So basically, as yeah. part of the weekend, we hide X amount of caches out in the wild, but they're only temporary caches. Oh, These okay. temporary caches can be decorated in the theme of the weekend. So some of us that have been attending mm -hmm. for a long time um, will get really crazy and insane with our cache hides. Um, yeah. So they match the theme and we go and hide those caches Sunday morning at 9 o'clock, I want to say, and we... We lock everyone earlier in this room. Um, it's a bit <laughs> earlier, but we lock them in a room. They're not allowed to escape. Yeah. And yeah. they're sent a GPS file. So we help all the people that um, don't use GPSs and they use yeah. their phone for caching. Um, mm -hmm. we, they download a GPS file and all these temporary caches appear on their um, geocaching mm. app. And off they go. And it's a competition to have fun. Get as many um, points yeah. as you can. See who so can get the most points. Find as many as you can. And yeah, is so and they, that's a time thing. They've only got a certain amount not, of time to find them. Yes and no. Um, yeah. So they have to have their caches back at a certain time. Um, yeah. Caches are allocated points for where they're hidden. If it requires a walk, oh. if it requires, um, you know, if it's a drive-by, it's it's probably going to be one point. Don't quote one me, point, please, yeah. anyone, because I'm not involved in the scoring. But that makes yeah, sense. The harder or more exciting it is, the more points it's worth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we don't have any, there's no T5s. That is okay. um, no T5s. That's the one rule. Uh, if yeah. it requires any sort of top, um, it's not allowed. Okay. Oh, except obviously if, you know, a stick and stuff you're allowed to use. We've seen kaplunks and all, so yeah. all sorts in the field. And that's on a natural Sunday. Tot. <laughs> yeah. Like, so, uh, so you need people to plan and, and like easy. maybe build a geocache before the weekend so that they can put it out yeah. for the Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, so a lot okay. of people do do they, that, they but we don't want anyone. It... Yeah. Sorry. No, I was going to oh. say, in terms of building the cache, mm. yes, we encourage that, mm. but it's not it's not a requirement. Right, you okay. Know, someone, someone, that's, someone that's new that hasn't been to a June long weekend um, they may look at the website and look mm. at what what happens and how it all happens and go, oh my god, it's so complex yeah. and so da da da. Yeah, and that puts them off. It's yeah. not like that at all. Mm. It's it's as um, you Lucy can go Lucy. as hard or as easy as you want. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to make a cage. You don't have to dress up. Mm. You just have to come along and, and enjoy. Just have a ball. Yeah. You know that that yeah. the whole premise of the weekend is just come along and have fun. It's a it's a brilliant fun weekend uh, where you can you can socialize if you want. You can go yeah. out 
and try and, you know, um, be at the top of the leaderboard. Um, and even if you're at the bottom of the leaderboard, you get a trophy. <laughs> you do. So, you know. Um, so just come along, have fun. Don't be intimidated by all the games and the dress up. Don't be don't, intimidated by all the yeah. games. and You don't and have to be in the uh, talent and, contest. And yeah. yeah. Um, the first time we looked at it, um, I looked at it and I went, oh, no, that's this is this mm. is just way too much for me. Mm. Um, and it wasn't until, oh, I can't remember, uh, I think it was Warabra, which Warabra. was like seven, seven years ago. Yeah. We actually, uh, they put a call out and, and said they needed someone uh, to do recovery. Right. <coughs> um, to, you know, pull people out of mud pits and whatnot and whatnot. Right, yeah. Um, so we figured, well, okay, we can do that and um, that will give us an idea. We will be able to see what the whole weekend is all about. Mm. Um, so so we stuck our hand up for that and kind of got sort of sucked into the um, committee. Into and the organising. So <laughs> technically we haven't actually played the game ourselves. <laughs> Um, in, I don't know, this will be our seventh or eighth year. Um, yeah. And we've, we've never actually played the game. That's funny. That's <laughs> and you're, I have you're on the other side. Thing. No, we're pretty yeah. much the same. So our first. Yeah, Candice has only played once, yeah. I think, didn't we? We've only yeah. played it once. And um, <laughs> I didn't, re like, you know, I was like, the first time I seen the listing was for the Claire event. And when I looked at it, I was like, oh, my God, this is intense. And mm. I freaked out and I was like, I can't go. Yeah. Um, and then the next okay. year, someone convinced me and they're like, just go and check it out. So we went down there yeah. and um, it, it was an awesome event, but I'm not going to lie. I didn't know how serious it sort of was for some yeah. people. So oh, Sunday yeah. morning, oh. my husband and I are cooking bacon and eggs and I get a phone call from um, White Dog Gang going, Travelling Bees, uh, where are you? You need to come and get your GPS. We're locking the hall up. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. So I hopped in my car and as I left the caravan park, um, I saw one of the team's hurdle running over a hill and it was at that point I rang my husband and I went, oh, this is really serious. Like I haven't <laughs> even got our GPS yet. Um, you know, we're out. So we people just went are and out had fun. and going. Yeah. And yeah. all that we but, did, I don't know if you can see, but this is what people are given yeah. is a case yes. like this. And we went and found 20 of these on our first weekend and we really enjoyed it, but we, we realised we weren't competitive. Um, yeah. So we we wanted to hunt out the creative caches. So that's what mm -hmm. we've sort of tried to focus on is if you're not competitive, just come and find those creative caches because some of them yeah. are phenomenal. Well, mm. Like the thought and effort that goes into them, it's yeah amazing. Yeah. We, we uh, had a some... – sorry, you okay. go. No, I see some no, questions gonna... in the chat. So um, – Sandy, I think, has asked about what's the accommodation available. Um, so mm -hmm. we do have camping on site. It should have gone live about 30 minutes ago on the website. I've seen a registration come through already. So Oh, fantastic. Um, yeah. So our camping's gone live tonight. We have powered and unpowered sites mm -hmm. um, with full um, access to showers, toilets and amenities uh, during the day, like power and stuff. Right. Um, and then there is the Lamaru Hotel Motel where you can book accommodation if you want as well. Apart okay. from that. But they would have limited numbers? Yeah. Apart from that, yeah. there's not much else around. Okay. The camping on site is amazing. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's part of the atmosphere and being close to one another, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's what makes the June long weekend so unique is that you make friends each year at a June long weekend yeah. event and then you just yeah. keep coming back so you can see them. You might not see them for a 12 month period, but a June long weekend, mm. you're going to get that really nice big hug or that jolly belly laugh with a geocacher <laughs> about something stupid they've done in the past 12 months. I think that's what makes it fun. Oh, nice. Um, just going back to the creative um, hives, mm. um, uh, three years ago was the, uh, the one at um, Corn. Um, and it was the uh, it was a Monty Python uh, oh. medieval theme. Yeah. And um, one of our acacias 
who is about six foot tall, yeah. which I think he might even be a little bit taller than that, um, built a Trojan rabbit. Now, I don't know if you know, if everyone, if anyone's seen Monty Python, the Holy Grail, mm. they'll know what the Trojan rabbit is. Um, now, Alex could actually stand up inside this Trojan rabbit. Oh, That's wow. how big it was. This thing was huge. Wow. Um, and that was, and he had it flat packed on a trailer. Yeah. Uh, and he set it up in a gorge um, just outside of corn. Um, and that was the case. Wow. That was, so you drove up and you saw the yeah, the Trojan rabbit. Wow. That's amazing. So that's to the, the extent. One of the other ones at Runko was a, a super superhero thing, uh, theme. Mm. Um and one of the uh, uh, there was I think three caches who built the the telephone box. The telephone box, like a yeah, full size cool. telephone box. Wow. You know, Superman telephone yeah. box. So so that's the sort of creative um, extreme that some people extreme that to. people yeah. go to yeah. to 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 make the caches yeah. and and they're just unbelievable. Oh, Sandy's just oh, said the Sandy rabbit ended up at the, yeah. the Millicent. <laughs> so the rabbits ended up at the Millicent Mega and is still at the Millicent Showgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it could be one is of the Australian it? big items. <laughs> well, it could be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go see the big <laughs> werewolf rabbit. In. <laughs> the big there's rabbit. Actually a, in Millicent. There's, there's a trail over on the Air Peninsula in South Australia near yeah. Radal. Um, that actually a lot of the caches on there are their previous June long weekend hides. Um, really? Yeah, oh, yes. So, we, yeah, we actually the, found that. Wow. The Cleve we girls, found them um, when we went over um, at Christmas. We went over to Cow. Yes, yeah. And we, um, that was the main reason to go there was to target those caches because sometimes as a committee we don't get a chance to go out mm. and see the creative caches um, in situ. We only see them when they come back. Um, yeah. So, so you sort of you don't mm. really sort of get the the full gist of them. Um, no, you missed that. Yeah, no, they they were, they were yeah yeah. So I think that's awesome by Tweedy and Martini. Mm -hmm. They've gone oh, that's hidden good. their cases out there in a trail, and so for us it was actually I went over in uh, June last year and I found them uh, with Hunsucker yeah. and we. When it did, and yeah. they were just really good because we don't get to see them on game day weekend, but they stand the test of time. Mm. And yeah. some of them, I was like, oh, this yeah. And I'm not really good at reading case listings, okay? So um, it says use a card, and I, I'm <laughs> still trying to work out. <laughs> or logging them, yes. All right, I'm guilty of a lot oh, of things. Oh, okay, great, yeah. Wow, but I'm called out here. Walking up to it with the owner, and she's like, "Are you going to read the?" And I'm like, "No, I'll be all right." She's like, "You sure you don't want to read the listing?" And then in the end, I had to go back and read the listing because I, I needed a card. Hint, hint. Yeah, so <laughs> they were really good. And I think that's the great thing about um, our weekend event. You might not be super keen and want to hide lots of cases, but you can go and find some amazing ones and then it might plant mm. the seed. Has the committee thought of giving some caches some GoPros to show the adventures of the finds? <laughs> No, because we'd no, never get them back. We ask you exactly. to take pictures. Yeah, that's right. Take a photo. Everyone's got the phone Just on. Take a phone. photo with your phone. Yeah. Yeah, every year. Yeah, and we don't get them, do we, John? Every no. year. It's the no. biggest hiccup. Like, we we would love it if the hiders, when they place their cache out there, um, they literally take a picture and send it to us as a committee because then we can use that later in the voting. Well, yeah. how about oh, we how about we do? do I just had an idea, just co going on with that photo thing. Is at the Capital Geo Bash in Canberra just gone? Um, I ran the photo comp for um, the Geo Bashers to put their pictures from the Geo Bash on um, in the comments. How about we do that for the June long weekend? That could work. And it we'll we'll work. start it on it Friday, and we'll pick a winner on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, we tried everything idea. else. Yeah. To get people to do it. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we'll run a com we'll them. run a com and see how we go. All right. Um, question here from Sandy. In answer to Sandy's question, are you um, going to still do Black Thunder? We don't know. That's that's the know. game day masters that are going to do that. What is Black Thunder? I'm not familiar with this. So Black Thunder is a um, like a challenge type 
um, so it sort of came it came back in um, uh, in Adelaide years ago. A radio station used to do a Black Thunder, and it was right. a black SUV that used to go and park in a certain spot Location. that they would yep. announce on the radio, and people uh -huh. would go there and yeah, you know, they'd get given cartons of iced coffee or whatever. Uh -huh. So you'd race uh, to the location so, and first to get there gets Yeah, so the Black Thunders are a list. So there would be a Black Thunder at a listed coordinate for a 15-minute time frame, one in generally one in the morning, one in the afternoon. If you went there and you did a dance or sung a song or, um, you know, did a challenge of some description, you would get bonus points. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. but but it changes every year, um, and that's mm -hmm. and that comes down to so there's the committee that organises the June long weekend, and yeah. then there's the game day masters who organise uh. the game day. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a say in the game day. The game day masters do. Yeah. Um, so if they want to do Black Thunders. There'll be black thunders. <coughs> All and right, that's, there you go, Sandy. So basically, if you win a June long weekend, you become the next year's game day master. Um, ah. so that's and it's part mm -hmm. of that giving back to your community because what we found historically yeah. is people were winning, and that's great if you don't want to help out the next year, but it fell on the committee to keep um coming up with the game day ideas. So um We've been really fortunate that the last few years the game day masters have actually taken that aspect of the, the weekend away from us and mm. they come up with some really quirky, strange ideas. So I can see Jem is one of the game day masters this year and he's actually uh -huh. jumped in chat and he's yeah. responded to and he's gone, wait and, and, wait and see. see. <laughs> wait and see. Um, there you go. And it does make us nervous a little bit as a committee because <laughs> we have to wait and see as well. As um, well. But we do oh, get a little man. bit of... Yeah. You know, we get a little bit of secret information because obviously we know the map and we know where yeah. things are and we print the booklets. Um, and as long as the game day masters don't push the boundaries of the rules, then they'll pretty well get away with a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I can't um, guarantee what they're going to do. I mean, people are expecting a map to look like it normally would look. Our game day masters this year could turn it into a UFO. Who knows? No in guarantee. The shape of a teddy bear. Could be a disco ball. I'm only messing with you in chat, everyone. Okay, it's not going to be. Or a teddy it could bear. be a disco ball. It could be a disco ball. Yeah, with all the and you only hide in a little square. Who That's knows? it. Yeah. <laughs> See, many ideas. Oh dear. Uh, so, is that all the events planned for the weekend? Um, have you got a closing ceremony on the Sunday? No, so we do have a Sido, but that's not published yeah. yet. So we're in right. the um, trying to oh, the down the final bits. The Sunday night we do have a presentation and uh, like so once everyone comes back on the Sunday, um, all all of the books go into scoring. Mm -hmm. uh, so we madly go through and tally all the scores up and then we have yeah. presentations like, you know, third place, second place, first place. Um, other bits and pieces, um, and then uh, Monday is generally the Sido. Um, on the Monday? Where we, on the Monday where we sort oh. of clean up and then um, and then everyone goes home. Okay, right. Or That's... stays around and does some more caching. Our fine state. Does some more caching. Yeah. Well, there'll be five okay. events in total over the weekend, so okay. official GC oh. events. Four of them and so no um, no gadget caches or adventure labs put out for the event? No. No, oh, well, no, lab, no lab caches, but yeah, the gadget caches, caches yeah. are, are, the, are uh, basically the, the creative caches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, Mrs. Snappy Tomcats. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, sweetheart? How are you? How are you? Terry and just asked her. Go on, Jeff. Good work, Di. Thank you so much. I don't oh, know sign language. Too. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to say hello. Yeah. 
What were you going to say? If Can I just add mm. um, the, hang on, let me take that out because it's completely thrown me out. The Saturday night um, we have the dress up. Mm-hmm. You haven't mentioned that comp- uh, competition costumes. Oh, and we the costume. on those as well. Great. I could sort of say I had so fluoro that's, and, that's and really stuff. Good too. Yeah. We were going to leave some stuff for, you yeah, know, but, for surprises. Yeah. Yeah, but, but people do. Know people that need anyway. to organise. Yeah. So, do you get people to stand up like on a stage and do like a little parade, and people can yeah. vote for who they think the favourite yeah, is, or do no, you guys pick a, it? There is no a stage. stage. No. It's an open yeah. assembly well, of people <laughs> at the at the front of a the line room. around the campfire, <laughs> and then a, a, a clap. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, do you pick the winners, or do you get the audience? Oh, we to, get the audience. No, the in, audience. Um, audience picks. Nice. Have you been with geocaches? Nice. They really can like they. We can't bias the voting because they. Okay. Yeah, really, no, yes, they, James, they, you they you hold wore, um, you to task. It was James at Claire? He was the greatest showman. Ah, the okay then. Claire. James zero one one six won at uh, Claire with the greatest showman mm-hmm. costume. That's fantastic. Yes. Well, it was a pretty um, top hat. Right? The what? Where do we? What was the one at? Um, the Roaring Twenties. Oh, yeah. Uh, Langhorn Langhorn Creek. 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 Now, done the we trip. had people that were dressed in 1920s. Right. We had people that were dressed in 2020s. <laughs> yeah. Which Because it was a 20s theme. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, and they came in hazard suits. Hazmat suits. <laughs> hazmat suits. Because <laughs> it was over. 2020. <laughs> Um, oh, I love we it. had people dressed as cowboys, yeah, sort of the eighteen twenties. So, wow. you know, That's your cool. mind is just <laughs> yeah. like you're limited to your imagination. Fantastic. Yeah. There you go. Mm. So it's eighties theme this year, and only mm-hmm. limited by your imagination. Get creative. Yeah. Get fluoro. Get wild. Be the. I've already girl. got my cut. I've already got yeah, my costume, oh my and I actually look like a predator, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, he fits the night. He fits the the look of the era. I'm sure you will yeah. see pictures after the event, and oh, um, yeah. Well, you'll you be coming, unfair. aren't you, Terry Ann? You're coming, What's aren't you? You're coming, aren't you? It it it's a ninety percent yes at the moment. Um, no, oh, I'm not ninety nine point nine percent. I'm just a little bit stuck on the accommodation part at the moment. Um, and you get but, in quick and you book one of those motel rooms. Yeah. Because they will yeah. book out yeah. really quick. I reckon, especially after tonight too. So, so uh, yeah. Well, we um, know that there's a number yeah. of cases that that will or be Or just option. bring a tent. Well, yes, I will discuss with you after the show um, my travel <laughs> plans. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. It, it's 90%. 90%. Um, uh, look, the couple of that come questions. I, I might just post that. the tent down beforehand. How about that? <gasps> oh, will Thomas the geo um, be there? He's posted his will attend. Yes. Oh. No. Uh, will the geo maze be there? No. Will the geo maze be there? No, it will no, not. No, no. Now, Sharon uh, on Facebook, merchandise. Is there merchandise again this year? There will be t shirts and hoodies. mugs and hoodies, hoodies and, and coffee, mugs. coffee mugs. And do people buy them pre event or at the event? Uh, they'll be available Astra. to buy prior, yes, but to collect at the event. Perfect, yeah. okay, great. So it's a pre order thing, yep, great. And is there a cutoff date for merchandise yet? Uh, yes, there will be, but who knows when. Probably the beginning of June or the yeah, end of April. Around then. No, it'll be around the then. couple of weeks before that because yeah. I, yeah, I yeah. need to order the clothing in and yep. all of that sort of stuff. Mm. Yeah, okay. So late oh, May, so get for all you in me. chat. Mm-hmm. You can, oh, wrong way. You can actually um, uh, log that. Hang on one second. Let me just see. And the QR code. There we go. Well. Yeah, there you go. I've that. made you as big as possible. Hopefully someone can scan that and get there. So the QR code will take you to the website where you can read up on. Oh, it works. Oh, I just did it on go. my phone. 
Perfect. <laughs> there you Excellent. go. Hold your phone up to the TV screen or the iPad <laughs> or the whatever right now. You can scan the code. <laughs> so I can see um, Jay has asked a number of times about Block Party, Mega, um, will the June long weekend go to that? No. Um, not no. saying that we wouldn't explore that, but it's a like it's a really the, big the logistical top... event to cater for um, that yeah. many people camping on site. And I guess you can just yeah. speak to our colleagues who just did the the mega um, that had camping. You do need a specifically a specific site for that, and uh, we're very limited in on locations in SA where we could cater for in excess of. 200 caravans, yeah. um, etc. And and, uh, and also up... the, the, the game itself, the way the, the game is played is, um, how do I explain it? Um, <sighs> intimate isn't the right word, but it's, but it's a, a gathering. Yeah. And if it was, and if we tried to make it mega. Yeah. The game, the game concept, and the get and the way that it's played, the dynamics, the dynamics yeah. of it, yep. wouldn't wouldn't play out. It would change uh, and be something with different. That many people. Mm. So, whilst we would love for it to be a mega or a block party or whatever, um, I, I think that would actually ruin the game. Yeah, no, I understand so, what you're saying. There, so yeah. we would rather not sort of take it down that sort of pathway. Yeah. Yep. So sort of keep it at the 100 attends. Hey, yeah, 200, yeah. we'd be happy with that too. I mean, we yeah, never yeah. want to say no. I mean, but look, I just think, uh, no. the more the yeah. merrier. Yes. Know, uh, we, we would love as many people there as we as we can. Mm. Um, but we're not really interested i don't think in making it a block party or no. a mega or I'm anything not. like that yeah yeah you that know, just takes it, it to a whole, whole logistics level, change mm. you know mm. Mm. um you know with with um sponsorship and all that yeah. trying to sort of chase all of that background. sort of stuff and yeah and got a question here from the chat yeah. room sorry go candies i was gonna say i think it's important like even though we've already got lamaru in the pipeline now, we're already mm. thinking about 2025. Please don't tell me yeah. that because he gets really grumpy when he hears that. <laughs> um, he's like, we haven't got this year out of the way, but we actually have to start the the wheels in motion for the next year while we're still planning this year. So it's sort of like you're holding two events because it is, yeah, yeah we're, quite we've already got sort of yeah. like the next one sort of like in the burner planned. Yep. Um, not just not all sort of like fully, um, yeah, locked in, if yeah, you know what I mean. yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think, um, Rod's saying about Quaggum, I think it's it yeah. keeps the uniqueness of these events. You know, we don't we want to yeah. we want to promote them to mm. everyone and we want you all to come, but we also, I guess, we don't want to lose that fabric that makes them the events that they are. That's know, right, um, yeah. yeah. But I think the great thing is you might not attend for three years and then turn up and it's like you, you've just. You've never been like away. you were there last year, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and yeah. I don't know. I'm looking forward to. It. I know that Baby and Mrs. Gopher of Log there will attend. I haven't seen them since June. Like, oh wait, I saw Baz at the Mega in Adelaide, but you know, you see them at these yeah. events. So, I think that's the exciting thing. Hugs. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what got us COVID in the first place. Hugs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Jess, yes, we can post um, stuff out to you if you don't come, but you need to come. Uh, yeah. So if, uh, when merchandise is ready to go and available, it'll all be on our June long weekend website, which is jlwe.org. Um, hopefully, hopefully within the next week or two. Oh, perfect. Unfortunately, our suppliers are a little bit sick at the moment and we need to allow mm. them time to recover. Mm -hmm. I don't want to I'm put not pressure anymore. on <laughs> You're not, but he, he is. No, um, I tested negative. Oh, dear. Thank you for putting it in the text. Um, but jump over there and you, everything will be on there that you need to know. If you want to reach out to any of us, you can hit us up on our Facebook page or the web, yes. the web page. We're very um, communicative. Communicative. Oh. Communicative? Communicative. It's not going to happen oh, now. Dear. 
Go back to oh. bed. <laughs> I'm going to Very a different way. Um, we're really That's responsive it. to emails and messages. <laughs> Mm. Uh, nice that's awesome. Uh, Log your will attend GCA K one D five. Head over to geocaching.com. Log your will attend at the Lamaru Ludicrous Leg Warmers between the seventh and tenth of June. You've got a couple of months to get organised as well. Uh, and don't so forget, was, yep, it's the closest it's been to the eastern states. Yes, for a long time. And closest to Melbourne will ever get. And once you attend, you you will just keep coming back. Hopefully. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Awesome. Well, was there anything else that you needed to communicate to the people out there far and wide who are coming to your wonderful event? Just bring the no, fun. Just like you will attend. Like um, you will attend. Like you will attend and um, have fun. Go and order your meals. Book That's your it. camping. Book your Start camping. Start working on your costume. Yeah. Okay. And to create a cases if you like. Yes. Yes. Um, Yay. Sorry, I saw someone had already logged their will at 10 and registered, so that made me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Narelle. Oh, dear. Awesome. That's a Victorian team. Yeah. Is it? Oh, crossing the border. <laughs> I know. No, oh, and uh, oh, Victoria, Greg and Judy yeah. are going to be back. Yes. Ah, oh, excellent. Judy. There See? you go. And That's Thomas Tank Engine, he's Tank Engine. logged the will at 10. Thank you. Now is um, Kitty Catch and Julie, are they coming along? Do you know? Have you heard? I'm not near? sure. And not make sure, sure if anything. you want a powered site that you get on there quick because they are limited. limited. Yep. Cool. Hev Walker, Sandy, Scramping will be there. Narelle will be there. She's correct. It wouldn't be if she didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Narelle, you in trouble. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, uh, they were temporarily unavailable because um, my COVID brain got in the way <laughs> and um, the coordinates weren't quite correct. So we've corrected <laughs> them and um, taken yeah. them offline as a courtesy until the uh, reviewer can just verify the coordinates but more verification and I to like anyone that, that, that doesn't know good. we've had this issue a couple of years in a row um and we've mm -hmm. made an effort to check the cords every year right and, like, and yeah I, I, was just, every time. I was just fuzzy wuzzy was a bear <laughs> Yeah, he had the pub dinner and that page was yeah. in there four kilometers down the road in a paddock Oh, fantastic. So, we could have still yeah. held the event there and people would have had yeah. fun, but we feel like it was probably better if it was at the right location. The actual you, can part, still yeah. come, you can still log you will attend on those events, though. Um, we've had a few come through. Good. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> 2025. Well, we feel like that's going to be near the ocean, so maybe that's about the only hint oh. I'm giving. Deary me. There you go. Ooh. We've got ocean vibes. I like it. Yes. Somewhere near the water. You're not letting the cat out the bag, Candice, are you? No, I just said it's near water and, you know, technically. Well, all stages. of South Australia is near water, <laughs> technically. Yeah, it's not Half a river. It's near water. Not, yeah. all, not a river. Any sort of body of well, water, that's right. Uh, <laughs> well, no, there's water. Cooper Petey. Yeah, if you dig deep enough. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it rains there. <laughs> There's water in the pub. That counts. Yes, there um, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, look. That, well, beer is like 90% water, isn't it? Exactly. There you go. Good yeah. for the health. There you go. So plenty of water there. Oh, awesome. All um, right. Well, um, what were we going to say, Di? Sorry, Chris. I am so, so happy that you're going to be there. We've been hounding you since we've been doing it. <laughs> And with only being about an hour and a half down the road for you, that is really, really good. Half an hour. Can you manage it? <laughs> <laughs> now, Chris is our CP Wanderer. He's uh -huh. a um, legend in South Australia and he hides some amazing cases. Yeah, as well. yeah he does. So, and, yeah. And, he, and he's also a snake whisperer. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, so he has he has with him or, in that right. region. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, whenever he goes caching, he always finds snakes or they okay, find right. him. Okay. So we're not going geocaching with you, Chris. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're probably safer with him, actually. Okay. All right. We'll go with you then, Chris. No worries. Oh, dear. That's awesome. All right. Well, if anyone has got any more questions for the team while I have them here, pop them in the chat room and we will get them answered for you. Otherwise, uh, time is marching on, so we will move on to the next section. Let me have a quick look here. Do, do, do. DTY is a bit of a snake whisperer. Okay. Well, we'll take Chris and we'll take Danielle. That's fine. Yeah. You should have seen us sliding down the hill after the June long weekend last year. <laughs> Hopefully there's no hills for you this year. <laughs> Judy. Oh, dearie me. Okay. So if you've got no more questions, let's get on to our photo comp. So Snappy Tom Cats, Candice, thank you very much for joining me tonight and going through all the details for the June long weekend. You're welcome. No You're worries. welcome. Best of luck for the event, and uh, yes, as you say, it is on my card to try and get there, and uh, time will tell. But let us get on to the photo comp for the month, and we'll see who won in March. Do you think I've got a chance, do you reckon? What for? Uh, how about the calendar photo of the month? <laughs> Let's see this month's winner. <laughs> Congratulations to everyone who entered a video, a video, a picture. Everyone who entered a picture. I had quite a few submissions last month, actually. I had about 14. So thank you very much for everyone who put a photo in. I love seeing all the photos each month. Every time I see a, a little notification come up on my phone that there's been another submission, I get excited and I race in and have a look at the pictures. And they're from all over Australia, which is super fantastic. So I absolutely love it. So thank you. Don't forget while you're there, also vote for your favorite. You just need to give it a reaction, a like, a laugh, a love, anything like that all counts. Uh, but this month, well, for March's winner, it is this one here. So, da -da 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 -da, congratulations. The March photo comp winner is Sam James, caching name Saz Pazza. And this picture here is over in Western Australia. It's uh, top of the world. Yeah. So, at least it is to Western Australia. This picture here is taken at 1,099 meters above sea level. And it's the highest really? peak in Western Australia. So, it's a two hour here. hike to the top yeah, and another yeah. hour back down. Um, so, it's got great views, but it also has the second oldest geocache in Australia from April 2001, which is GC759, the Grassy Knoll. Uh, so that's really great for the Jasmine grid there. And uh, as you can see from the photo, Sam says, my muggle husband is in the photo, but you can see from his shirt, I think he's fully converted now. Uh, so, And they also managed to place an adventure lab along the way. So you can get uh, uh, a couple of old caches and you can also get an adventure lab on the way. So thank you very much, Sam, for uh, submitting that photo there. It does look top of the world to me. So congratulations, Sam. Thank you very much. Uh, your photo will be in the 2025 Geocaching Down Under calendar. Now, for this month, for April, this picture here is pinned to the top of the Geocaching Down Under Facebook page. All you need to do is navigate to this picture and then this picture here in the comments. Write in the comments uh, the GC title, the GC code, and a bit of a story of the geocache. Um, and remember to attach the photo as well. Uh, people then can then go in and like and vote for the picture. So please do that if you've got some awesome pictures. I think we've had over 10 submissions already this month again. So thank you very much for participating in the photo comp. Uh, love it. I love seeing all the pictures. And the printed calendar is an A3 on beautiful cardstock, really high quality, and I love it. So thank you very much. Um, you can buy that through geostuff.com.au when that is available. But we have sold out the 2024 one, so don't go looking for that one there. 
But let's get on to everyone's favourite part of the show, I think, and we'll give away some prizes. How about that? Let's get on to some prizes. Hi, PC. It's Allied Oz uh, here in Wajuk, Noongar country, also known as Perth, Western Australia. Uh, my friend and yours, John and Di from geostuff.com.au, have some prizes for you. Very generous, as they are every month. Let's see what they are. Awesome. Thank you very much, Allied Oz. Appreciate that video there. Okay. So don't forget, if you want to be entered into the prize draw, you just need to go to this web address here. Go to tinyurl.com forward slash GDU wheel. Tonight's code word is Lamaru with a capital L. So that's L-A-M-E-R-O-O. Um, it is case sensitive. So make sure you pop that in there. There it is there on the screen for you. So head to tinyurl.com forward slash GDU wheel. Keyword for tonight is Lamaru. Pop that in. Your name will be populated over in onto the geocaching's wheel of wheel names. names. Ah, there you go. Awesome. Okay, so let me share my screen. Hopefully everyone has had a chance to pop their names in there. Looks like there is quite a few names on the list. Let me share that screen there. Mm -hmm. There we go. So hopefully everyone is on that list. Um, I might get Candice. If you would like to give me a, um, a countdown and um, I will give you a spin. So when you're ready, give me a countdown. Oh, actually, hang on, wait. How about I tell people what they're playing for? <laughs> that would be good. Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. All right. So uh, prize number one, courtesy of geostuff.com.au, down the bottom here is, oh, hello. Lost it. There it is. So prize number one for tonight is a June long weekend anniversary geocoin. So this one is from 2022, which is their 20th anniversary. So a bit of a special coin here. And then we've also got the June long weekend travel bug. So you'll get a coin and a travel bug from the June long weekend. There are two of these prize bags to give away. Um, so we will get on to giving these away. So let me get the wheel back on the screen here. I'd just like to say as well that uh -huh. uh, the prizes are also com uh, courtesy of the June Long Weekend Committee as well. Right. Okay. In conjunction. Thank you for that. Okay. So let's make this large. That's a bit better. Okay. When you're ready, give me a countdown, Candice. Three, two, one. And off we go. All righty. Who is it going to be? Quite a few names here on the list. Oh, I think that's going to be Roddy C. It is Roddy C. Congratulations. Awesome. Okay. So, Roddy C, your name has been removed from the list. Congratulations. Uh, you are winning the coin okay. and the travel bug. And that means you have to come to this year's June Long Weekend, Roddy C. Roddy C, you have to be there to pick it up. No postage for you, sorry. <laughs> Special C. conditions for you, Roddy. <laughs> oh, dear. Awesome. All right, uh, let's get on to the next one. John, you want to give me a countdown? Okay. Uh, three, two, one. Woo! And off we go. All righty, that is pretty funny. All right, looks like it is going to be landing on. There it is, Gliss. Congratulations, Gliss. A Patreon of the podcast as well. There you go. Thank you, Gliss. You have won the travel bug and also the geocoin from the June long weekend event. Fantastic. You can collect that from the event if you are going. And, Roddy, you have to be there to pick it up. We want, we're not posting to you. <laughs> You're still not home yet. You're still not home from the Capital Geo Bash. My goodness, that was two weekends ago, mate. Mind you, Pud isn't home either. They're still enjoying New South Wales and they get to get back to Western Australia. So people travelling everywhere. 
Okay, on to prize number two for this evening. Prize number two is courtesy of Duckside Dan. Duckside Dan has sent me a little gift pack here. So we've got a um, a range of uh, path tags, of Duckside Dan path tags, so one from each year. So there's five of the, uh, six of those, sorry, uh, to give away, which is really cool and very generous as well. Now, the GeoCoin, which you can see there in the middle, um, that is... That is an unactivated um, geocoin. So it is a Buddha head, and it's from around 2008, uh, Dan believes, and it is unactivated. So an unactivated Buddha head geocoin, um, I believe it's from overseas as well. So that's even more special. Um, so that's pretty cool there. So someone, I've got one of these prize packs to give away, so you'll win all six part tags and the unactivated Buddha head geocoin which is pretty dang cool. So let me get rid of that there. Uh, and then, Candice, do you want to give me a countdown and we will spin that one? Three, two, one. No. And off we go. So, Roddy C and Gliss, you have been removed from the Wheel of Names. But who's... Oh, my God, stop it. That is <laughs> what funny. What are the chances of that? That is funny. <laughs> Darkside Dan wins his own prize. <laughs> wow isn't that funny i'll just post it back to you <laughs> that is funny mate congrats start side dan you won your own prize back i have a feeling and i'm just stalling for the um for the uh for the chat room here but i have yeah, yeah redraw yeah there you go all right so and also i've just seen your comment as well the buddha head geocoin came from england there you go <laughs> the geocoin, the Buddha head came from England there. All right. So, Dark Side Dan, let me remove you from the Wheel of Names so you don't win again. But, uh, yeah, let's do another spin and we'll we'll see if we can give this one away. So, John, do you want to do the countdown this time? Three, two, one. Off we go. Excellent. What are the chances, Dark Side Dan? Oh, look who's coming around again. Have you... Your name twice, mate. That's funny. Shamad. Congratulations, Shamad. Awesome. Okay. So, Shamad, you have won the awesome prize pack from Dark Side Dan. Six part tags and also the unactivated Buddha head from England. The unactivated Jitabu coin. So, Roddy C, you have to pick yours up from the June Long Weekend event. Gliss, we will talk to you after the show. And congratulations, Charmed, on that awesome prize pack. So um, I'll post that one out to you, Charmed. No worries. You don't have to come to me. It's okay. But, Roddy, you have to go to South Australia. Okay. So congratulations, everybody. And uh, thank you for participating. Um, I will be in touch uh, with you, Charmed, after the show and just confirm details from you. So don't forget, if you liked tonight's show, um, you should subscribe. We're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, X, all of those. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell uh, and Facebook and YouTube. will give you a notification when we are next going live and when we post a scheduled live event so you don't miss a single episode. Um, and congrats to all the winners tonight. Thank you. Um, if you'd like to reach out, you can do so through uh, Facebook and Instagram or uh, in yeah, X, formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations, Mick. Uh, that's a really cool prize you've got there, mate. So that's awesome. Um, I'd like to give a massive thanks to the sponsors of the podcast. So Laney at LK Consulting Group for the marketing, mentoring, and the coaching program and all the super cool ideas you come up with. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you to John and I at geostuff.com.au for your continued support and hugs and kisses. And I know we've shared the COVID, but that's fine. That's fine. I still love it. <laughs> uh, you could have kept it. I know, right? That was just too giving. Too giving of me. Should have held that one back. I'll, I'll know for next time. Uh, 
Massive thanks to See My Shell um, all the way in America. He does the audio editing and also some of the video editing as well. So thank you very much for your support, mate. And thanks to Mum also supports the podcast as well. Thank you very much. Uh, let's do a Patreon shout out now uh, who also donate to the um, podcast each month and help it to run. So thank you very much. G'day, PCE and the GDU family. Now, just like this tree has a big trunk to support its leaves and branches, you too can support this particular podcast on Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash GDU podcast. Links are in the description below and you too can be one of the main supporters of this channel for as little as $3 a month. That's less than a cup of coffee. This is C. Michelle. Thanks for watching or listening. I'm over and out. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, Shell. Awesome. Another, uh, well, my first Patreon, actually. Once I, I took over from him, <laughs> he became a Patreon, so that's great. So thank you to See My Shell, Kitty Catch, Kingfisher AU, Snappy John Cats, Julie, Darren Archer, Captain Roverman, DTY73, Wollaston, Banj5150. Uh, we've also got Founder Podcast, Patrick, who was here a little earlier, Tim Casho, just met them in person in Canberra as well, Hev Walker, James0116, Darkside Dan. We've also got Scramping, Mighty Minions, Lee737, Geo Joe, and we've got Contesta Gliss, congratulations, Allied Oz is here, Cosmonauts here, Isa Peter, Oz Glory, they're all here, Pilot Gen, Roddy C, don't forget to go to uh, South Australia and pick up your prize, Young Old Fella, Tank Engine, Choo Choo, is also here, Green Cordial, Bernie H, Burns345, Chook and Chanka here. Oh, we've got Ben M70, Strange Trousers, Shortfoot24, she's in the chat room. Da Humbug, Datsun1600, also here. Scuzzy Bear, Bucko Raider, No Angel, Froggy Pancakes is here. Nelzarama, DFC, JLK2019, Mama Bear 66 and Toy Hunters, my two latest Patreons. So thank you very much, guys. Um, actually, what is it today? The 9th on the 4th, I actually had to pay for website hosting. So your money goes towards paying for the website hosting. It goes towards uh, this platform here to broadcast the show each month. So thank you very much, Patreons. I really couldn't do this without you. Uh, don't forget, if you would like to become a Patreon, just head over to patreon.com forward slash GDU podcast. Um, We've got uh, packages there for as little as $3, I think it is, 3 up to $11. So whatever you would like to give would be most appreciated. I would like to thank you for being here live and watching the show. Thank you very much. And if you're not here live, thank you for listening back later. Appreciate that. Hopefully uh, the, tonight's show has been informative and makes you want to go to the June long weekend event because I know it makes me want to go to the event. Uh, and I'd like to give a big thanks and shout out uh, Snappy Tom Cats, John and I, and also Candice. Thank you very much for being my guests on the show tonight and telling us all about the events. Thank you. Little head there oh, in the it was corner. Our pleasure. I'm sure we'll be back oh. in March or April next year. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Uh, well, I'll lock you in. I'll lock you in. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. We'll have it as a standing gig. It's okay. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. You, you've said it now. You're in. So. <laughs> oh, that's great. And clearly, I'm not uh, camera shy and I don't mind talking. So, you know, yeah. it's a, no, a win no, for yeah. all of us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, none, he, luckily, he all three doesn't of mind them. talking. <laughs> Quick, where's the mute button? <laughs> I muted myself quite a bit this time. I'll have you know. I was oh, like, mm, mute. Wonderful. Thank you. That one is appreciated. That's awesome. So hopefully everyone's had a good night tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we will see you on the 14th of May will be the next show. And don't forget, I'm PCE from GDU and it's been fun. Don't forget to get lost to get found with GDU. <laughs>there we go. Let me stop that one there for you, Zor. Now, who's still in the chat room? We we'll still see quite a few names here. That's awesome. So, let's see if quite a few names are planning on going to the June long weekend event, which is absolutely awesome. awesome. So awesome. You might crack over 100 this year, I reckon. I don't know. In the time we've been sitting here, um, yeah. my emails have gone off and... I think we've had 
15 registrations come in <gasps> since oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm counting them now. I'm like, wait, let me just. Oh, that's I, fantastic, Daniel. Yeah. Thanks for your work on that. Yeah, thank you, Daniel. That That's a big ask too. So thank you for getting organised with the um, TB list from the Capital Geobash. Dear me. That's right, Patrick. You should get lost to get found. Hopefully you find your mug when it arrives in the mail. Hang on. Wasn't he supposed to come and get it? Only if someone wins the lotto tonight and sponsors his trip out here. Unfortunately, oh, I don't have that many Patreons yet. I <laughs> Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that was the condition of winning is flying the other one out to the um to the to collect the yeah. prize. But no, I need a few more Patreons for that one. There you go, eleven registrations on the site. Do with that, fantastic. I should jump on the website and have a look myself. I see Dennis C52's registration come through, Loopy. Candice, that wasn't the podcast tonight. That was us. Spruiking it at uh, the mega in Canberra. I think it was the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they just waited I, I, till tonight to submit their entry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they waited because yeah. <laughs> they knew we were going to be here. Yeah, of course, of course. Hi, Rosie. Now, look, if you can come PCA, it will be awesome. Um, just want to say, book that room now, yeah. and <laughs> maybe if you don't come, you could auction it off to the next bidder because someone will yeah. want a bed. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And it sounds like that'll be pretty central anyway. Uh-oh, Hev Walker has broken one of her smiley cups at the Geobash. Oh, oh good no. on you. <laughs> oh, I know, Mel. Congratulations on the wedding. It was such a nice wedding. It was really cool, and I loved your dress. Your dress was absolutely beautiful. I should have put a picture up to share with you all. It was a beautiful wedding. Yeah. Well, Very was special. It, it yeah. was, yeah. I was crammed up the back. Stand, uh, Cosmonaut and I were standing on a chair squished together at the back just so we could see, so that was awesome. That was really cool. Ah, oh, dear. That's it. Oh, Darren Archer didn't win the uh, the lotto, so can't fly Patrick down for us. Sorry, mate. Damn. <laughs> 11. Thanks, Christy. Oh, oh, where is the hat? Yeah, I didn't buy a hat at the Capital Geobash. Oh, hat competition. Yeah, <laughs> you did. And it was one of the. Um, I think it was uh, the, the Goma Pile one that won in the end. Yeah, I think so. Oh, the bucket. <laughs> God. <laughs> no. The, yeah. The, um, the, the, the proper oh, wide rimmed. The real deal hat. Yeah. Oh. They're, they're made from um, truck types from Brazil. Oh, is that what so the material you can, is? You can actually sniff them and, you know. <laughs> Let me see if this will work. There you go. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one that won. <laughs> and that was my added touch to that. <laughs> it was. Yes, I had it on. I had it on normally. King Casho, yeah. I had that on normally, like a normal human being. And then Di came along and said, no, this will look better. That'll look better for you. Go with that. That's right. <laughs> oh, Can't be normal. That's all right. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you saw it, Candice, but this was um, option number three. <laughs> I feel like the second option was better. Option number two boring. was just okay. boring, yeah. the geobash cat. And then the other, oh, you can't see because it it's green. Yeah, I can see it just. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like the wonky the wonky one, I know, right? Thing. So yeah, well, that was the one that that um, that won the thingy, I think. It was. Yeah, that it one. Was. I think that looks cool. <laughs> won the vote, and in the end, I forgot to go and buy it. <laughs> yeah, good on you. <laughs> well, we'll bring it. We'll, we'll bring, we'll bring it to June long weekend, and you can June you can long grab weekend. It there. I'll have to pick it up at the June long weekend. Deary me! Oh, I forgot to ask. How's the phone reception in Lamaru? Like, are people going to be right for phone reception and, like, FPOS and, um, and purchasing things? Yeah, so actually yeah, I feel I like it's an area right. where I mean, it's, not, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's not exceptional, but it's, yeah. it's enough. It's not Kai and Carter. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not Kai and Carter, yeah. it's Lamaru. Yeah, so. Uh, maybe you uh, can get outside the um, 80 km or 50, 80 kilometer zone, there may not be an awful lot. Right. Okay. But you're pretty all right was. in town. Yeah. 
Cool. Yeah. No, no, no. It was fine. And just I a side note on it. Game. Yeah. Apparently, it gets bloody cold. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, so you need a, a a motel room, not a tent. <laughs> or some really, really <laughs> thick long tent. johns. <laughs> Mate, I will be dressed up like an Eskimo because I hate the cold and I'll just be like the little purple blimp man walking along with <laughs> 17 <laughs> layers of, yeah, yeah, be the purple blimp uh, lady. <laughs> the first one I attended was at Yankalilla and we stayed right on the coast and um, mm. the first morning when I woke up in my tent, I was shiv like, so I was shivering, dog was yeah. shivering. Um, we were all trying to cuddle into the husband and I said to him, if this doesn't warm up, I'm going home. I don't, I, this is horrible. I hate it. Um, <laughs> I, it was the worst June weekend for weather. Uh, it was so cold. Um, clearly I've persisted. We've had yes. rain, lots of rain. We've had yeah. cold, but we haven't. Actually, we, we're uh, pretty I'm, lucky every year, actually. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've really had a... A, like a blizzardy sort of cold. Even no. even the one of the first ones we went to when bloody Freddo had a um, flash mob at two a.m. outside our tents. Outside of our tents. Yeah. Oh. yeah that was actually that? evil because Freddo put a flash mob that's, on, but he actually um, got the time wrong. Found it's mum's dogs. Oh, are okay. Gorgeous? Yeah. That's Patrick. He's had to go and pick up the dogs. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah, uh, so even that wasn't <clears> – <throat> um, and that was at 2 a.m. Oh, really? I mean, yeah. it was cold, but it wasn't yeah. crazy. Oh, there I you just go, remember James. poking my head out the tent and saying, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Don't we're forget about me. pretty cold. Yeah. Dear me. What do we got here? Team Casho have said if anyone is in the Albury Western Ast in in Albury Western Australia on Sunday the fourteenth of April, Team Geo Crack is wanting to do a cash run. Said he has about one hundred and twenty caches on his list. If anyone is interested in going out, send him a message. One hundred and twenty in a day—that's a long day. Okay, uh, Scramping has said used to live in Jamestown, and yes, it does get cold to the bone there. <laughs> I wake. I remember waking up with icicles on the roof. Oh, I remember waking up one time camping and I was so cold I couldn't feel my feet. They were mm. numb because I just had regular socks. I didn't have like, you know, super thick, really warm socks. And even in the sleeping bag, my feet were frozen numb. Dear me. I just read oh, Susan say... Gardner's post that it, it was snowing in Canberra. Oh, really? Yeah. What, um, now? To, uh, where is it? I'm oh, about to go on a scout camp in Canberra. Oh, sorry, it was I snowing think. in the south of the ACT oh, today. I'm glad yeah. we left when we did. How yeah. lucky were we with the weather? Uh, with the weather. Oh, very lucky. Queensland was absolutely underwater. Mm. And, and then yeah. Tuesday when we were packing up, it started to rain. And then really? on the drive home, it was just yeah. terrible. But then it wow. cleared up. It cleared up, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had some beautiful days, which is good. And see, my shell is awake in America. Good on you, mate. Hi, Thanks Craig. for joining us. Good day, Craig. Oh, Good day. Yeah. How are you? Thank you, Nina. So the weather has not been good since the mega. Yeah, I know we've had that rain that's come down from Queensland because they're absolutely flooded. You had to change. Jess had to change your trip home three times. Yeah, I bet all the. Roads were probably blocked or washed away or covered or bridges were taken out. So, oh, well, I'm glad you got home in the end. It isn't cold enough for the heater, though, not until after Anzac Day for that. Is that a is Hang that on. A, She's got a, a new husband to cuddle up with. She doesn't yeah. need a heater. Yeah, you've got a heater 24-7. <laughs> oh, thanks, Craig. Snowing at Namaji. Where's Namaji? That must oh, be that south. ACT? Yeah, that must be south ACT. The weather was magnificent. Yes, heavy rain on the way out of CT, ACT and then nice after getting to New South Wales. Oh, you're in Grafton tonight. Okay, so you're not even home yet instead of Toowoomba. But at least you're getting close. 
and you're at family's house. So there you go. Yep, Namadji is in the south half of ACT. So, yeah, down where it's snowing. There you go. Well, you know, you keep the snow down there. <laughs> Don't let it stray over any borders. Seven degrees in Canberra at lunchtime. Far out. Freezing feet all year long. Uh, that's that's me, chilly. Fitzy. That's me. I have freezing feet all year long. Oh, well, you are in Sweden, Patrick. That's a little bit different. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, you can't, you can't really sort of like. I'm cheating, isn't it? No, that goes without saying. Oh, dear. I'm pretty sure you're in the Arctic Circle, mate. Like, <laughs> yeah. Australia, we're not used to snow and ice. This is unusual no. for us. Only the tippy tops get the ice. Especially this time of the year. Yeah. Like, I mean, as yeah. Melissa was saying, you know, after Anzac Day. It's sort of really getting cold, but no, 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 not for me. 20 mm. degrees Celsius and it was snowing. I think it was 23 here today. Yeah, 23. We, we had 17 in the Barossa today. 17, that's a bit yeah, fresh. And I think it's going to 14 17. tomorrow. 17 degrees, not inches of snow. No. Wow, no. break out the shorts for 17 degrees. <laughs> uh, see, Michelle, the Yanks laugh when I say it's snowing in the snowy mountains. Oh, I bet they do. They probably find that funny. <laughs> You're catching up on the logging from the geobash. You and me both. I haven't logged my TVs at all. You, Kitty Cat, no, you put the heater I'm on. I'm waiting for the list. You're waiting for the list. Well, I took some photos as I was walking around, but, um, I mean, you know, I was asleep for the first two days, so I didn't really. Night, night, Rosie. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Rosalind. 16 today's and 12 at the moment. Yes, I'd be wrapped around my hot water bottle. Oh, dear. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Oh, you're in yes, are you? Good job. Good job, Andrea. That's awesome. Well, uh, it was lovely and you've got part of it. Da, 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 da. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us live tonight. Hopefully you can make it along to the June long weekend event. Um, I am working on it. Yes, we will see you next month, Roddy. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dearie me. We eat ice creams at minus 10 degrees. My goodness gracious me, Patrick. I'd do that. I would live inside my hot water bottle if it was minus 10 degrees. No, yeah, but we eat roast on a 40-degree day, so. Yeah, I know, right, yeah, so it's all relative, <laughs> When you think it? about it, it's like, mm, yeah, we do yeah. that. Yeah, it's 40 degrees. Let's put a roast on. Yeah. yeah. With all the trimmings. Yeah. Yeah, make the house even hotter. Fantastic. Awesome. All right, well, I'll let everyone go. Enjoy your evening. We will see you on the 9th of May, I think it was. Look at me go with my numbers. Nope, 14th of May. Whatever the second Tuesday is in May. May Day. We will see you then. Thank you, everyone, for joining us live and have a great night. Thank you guys for joining and be my guest. See you all. Thanks Thank for you, everyone. Coming. Thanks for the questions. See you at the June Long Weekend. <laughs> see you at June Long Weekend. Yep. Bye. Bye.